so hello everyone welcome to one of the most interesting topics and important topic for not only you but your parents your colleagues and your loved ones because we are going to talk about generic medicines so i have seen a lot of people are very skeptical about using generic medication because they do not know what exactly generic medicines are what is the role and why exactly are they cheaper so in this particular session i am going to help you understanding generic medication i am going to explain you why are they cheaper and how do they work okay so let's start this session so in this particular session i am going to focus on four areas first is we'll understand what exactly are generic medicines next we will answer all the queries and bust all the myth regarding generic medicine third we will discuss the major challenges when it comes to generic medicines and what is the way forward for india in terms of helping this medicines for the benefit of the indian market and the indian people so let's begin so first understand what exactly are generic medicines so generic medicines can be described as affordable version of branded drugs which are bought into the market once the original drug manufacturer's patent expire so whenever a particular per person or a company creates a drug that is patented okay essentially the clause is that when you invent a particular drug or a medicine for the first 15 years you are the sole person who is going to sell that particular medication and no one is going to sell that so essentially you have the advantage this advantage is given because you can recover the cost of your research and development from those first 15 years but once those 15 years are completed the original drug manufacturer does not have that advantage and the patent expires when that happens then anyone can take that formula and make that particular medicine okay so that is essentially generic medicines is and this particular generic medicine they are not inferior they have the same potency same quality and they also work in the same and identical manner as the branded drug okay these particular generic medicines are marketed either by the salt name or the brand name for example if you are using a particular medication for pain killer for example combiflam so combiflam is the brand name of a particular drug disprin is the brand name of the drug but what essentially is the chemical name or the salt name okay so paracetamol so paracetamol is essentially the chemical name or the salt name and the brand name can be disprin aspirin or any other uh, type of name okay so whenever the patent expires the company are allowed to develop this particular medication okay based on the active ingredient which is essentially the formula this particular medication which are created after the patent expires using the active ingredient are called as generic medication okay and this particular medication comes with different brand names and has the same active ingredient as the original medicine okay so whenever you have two options of generic medicine or the original branded drug essentially they will work in the same identical manner having the same potency and quality okay so this is regarding generic medicine what not is generic is your certification so if you have to have an edge in your career if you have to move forward in your career you cannot be generic you have to have your certification so go ahead and check out the certification in clinical research so it is an advanced certification which essentially will help you regarding clinical data management and pharmacovigilance also so admissions are open in the month of uh, august first week of august so go ahead and call them and get yourself certified and have a good career so now let's bust various myths regarding generic medicine so essentially there are six important question when it comes to generic medicine let's answer them one by one so the first and foremost question when it comes to generic medicine is that 
why this particular generic uh, medicine are expensive because we are skeptical that will this medication work in the same manner so as i've said that this generic medication are costing less than the brand name medicine it is because that the manufacturer of the generic medicine has not work or invested his money in research and development so he does not have the cost of r and d so whatever cost is he has is for the manufacturing so essentially manufacturing is a very smaller cost than developing that medication or inventing that medication so that is why the generic medicine provider does not charge you that much because he has not invested in r and d and he is able to produce that medication just through his production cost that is why the generic medication are cheaper and it is essentially an advantage for you as a customer or a consumer of that particular medicine next thing is that should you buy a particular generic medicine okay so when it comes to generic medicine it essentially cost at least one tenth of the medication in some cases and will have the same effect as the original so whenever you have a choice of a medicine which essentially has the same active ingredient one is costing you 100 rupees one is costing you 10 rupees so it makes financial sense to save your spending on medicine okay because you are going to get the same medicine then why do you need to spend more so whenever you have a choice going forward please opt for generic medicine because it will essentially help your financial condition and save you a lot of cost on healthcare okay the next question that a lot of people have is why is the brand name different okay so a brand name is the name given by the pharmaceutical company under which they do marketing a generic name is essentially the name of the formula or the active ingredient okay so they cannot infringe on the brand so they will not name their medication after the brand but essentially they will have the same active ingredient that is why the names are different but the medicine is the same next thing is that the generic medication are of different color and packaging okay so when it comes to medicine you have to understand that you have to look at the active ingredient you have to look at the chemical formula so if that formula is present then the packaging shape and size can be different okay and please have faith that this particular generic medication do also need government approval so even if the shape size or color is different they will have the same active ingredient same formula they will work as effectively okay next thing is when it comes to doctor's prescription okay so now since uh, a lot of medical practitioners doctors are using this medication from the beginning so they essentially have a tendency to market or to prescribe this particular uh, drug okay and when even they are getting educated in today's time okay and they shall even uh, help you with generic medication uh, one of the amazing example that i've observed first hand is for aims delhi in india okay so aims delhi in india does not prescribe any particular medication that has a brand name they will always give you generic medication now this is done through the orders of the government because a lot of people cannot afford the high cost of medication and generic medication shall help them in reducing that cost so aims delhi is, uh, is going uh, places they are uh, doing an amazing job in promoting generic medication in india okay the final uh, myth is regarding the choice so you must understand it is an open choice only the difference is regarding awareness do you want to deliberately spend more on a medication which essentially works uh, in the same manner as the cheaper medication okay and please understand when i say cheap it does not mean that it is of a lower quality what i mean is that financially it will cost you less okay so whenever you have a generic alternative of a brand name please go for the generic alternative because essentially you are not concerned with the brand you are concerned with the active ingredient with the efficacy of the medication so go ahead and uh, suggest generic medication and it can help a lot of people in reducing medical cost so now let us look at what are the challenges for generic medication moving forward so one of the major challenges that there are a lot of illegitimate illegitimate drug okay that has uh, posed an issue in india okay over a period of time 
in 2018 the cdso identified nearly 4.5% of the all generic drugs circulated in domestic uh, and foreign markets were substandard okay so it all boils down to the manufacturer so sometimes they even have issues when it comes to manufacturing and that is identified by the government so that is a challenge that we have to have stringent regulation in the us there are stringent quality control procedure and periodic quality checks also but in india uh, we do not have that much uh, stringent regulation and there is a wide spread of uh, corruption also and this particular uh, thing has led to uh, a lot of bureaucratic hassles political connections interfering in the quality standards so that we have to pay attention to another issue is that uh, we see a lot of counterfeiting uh, medication in which the seller who operate at the retail level also uh, dubiously uh, trick customers for substandard medication so when it comes to generic medication go only to the authorized uh, sellers where you are taking medication and there are a lot of uh, places called as pradhan mantri jan aushadhi kendras where they have essentially uh, standard medication they do not counterfeit or provide you substandard medication so when it comes to generic medication now india is the pharmacy of the world and it is very important what strategy india uses so as to help the world in healthcare so the way forward for india essentially is that there are very key initiative that the government has already taken in the form of uh, pradhan mantri bharatiya jan aushadhi uh, pariyojana okay under which they have uh, essentially this uh, kendras that they have uh, installed across the country that will help you supply quality generic medication and this particular uh, thing will essentially help in affordable healthcare and affordable prices for the people so that is a uh, one of the good aspect uh, an initiative taken from the government next is uh, during the covid 19 pandemic it has boosted a lot of export of generic medication because uh, the entire world is going uh, through economic hardship so we have to save wherever we can and but when it comes to healthcare we cannot cheap out there so we will use generic medication there and prevent the high cost of uh, patented medication by using the uh financially affordable medicines in the form of generic medication and in a lot of uh, countries across the globe they are using uh, generic medication for example uk government has taken a stand that they are going to use generic medication moving forward to reduce the financial burden and provide quality medication to the population of united kingdom so that is again a good uh, market where india can move forward and promote generic medications and also uh, the indian generic uh, medicine market uh, stands at 24.53 billion dollars in 2022 and this is expected to grow at a cagr of 6.97% during the uh, period from 2022 to 2027 so essentially generic medication demand is also good we have to spread awareness we have to help people understand that whatever medication that generic medicines provide is the same uh, quality efficacy so we just have to trust this medication and essentially revolutionize the cost of healthcare moving forward thank you for watching this video please circulate this with your friends family colleagues so that we can help reduce financial cost and provide awareness to the masses so thank you for watching this video make sure you like share and subscribe